What's going on, everyone? Um, I've got a tutorial here for you again. Uh, actually, another Feed Me tutorial. And uh, this time around, it's going to be uh, a pluck that you hear, or well, the, throughout the entire song of uh, Blood Red. Um, you can hear it right in the beginning of it, too. I'll go ahead and play that for you, and then I'll play this. So that's that, and here's this. I don't have it automated. I don't have the cutoff automated at all, so it's just going to stay consistent throughout the entire eight measures that I have here. Get started. We're using two oscillators, um, and they're all, or both of them are default settings. And the uh, yeah, all the knobs are turned all the way up. Um, the pitches are the exact same. Turn this to filter one on both oscillators. Uh, we. We don't really need that. I'll just turn that off. Um, and we'll set this all the way up. And filter one will be a low pass four. And cutoff will stay all the way down in resonance at about in between eight and nine o'clock. Um, and throw a macro on the source here for, for the cutoff on the low pass. Um, and envelope one, you got the decay and the attacker all the way down, levels all the way up. Decay, I'm sorry, delay over there. Um, decay is pointed at the D. Uh, levels all the way down here. I think those are stock settings. And this level is all, you know, that doesn't change anything. Uh, and the release is at about 2 o'clock. And drag that up to uh, cut off one and put it at about three o'clock. Let's see here. I'm definitely not feeling well today, so I'm just going to try and rush through this real quick. Uh, the voicing tab, put the max on 16, unison on 8. Uh, everything else is stock, I believe, yeah. Nothing else has changed, but unison on eight for sure. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, envelope four, um, put the attack at about there, it's about eight o'clock, and the level all the way up. Um, and the release is about almost at ten. Um, effects one. Using a reverb, we got a dry wet at about 8:30. Um, the size is pointed at the E or just past the E. Wow, that can hold on. Um, density all the way up. The collar is at about 1:30. Uh, have a sync delay. Uh, the dry wet is just past 9 o'clock. We've got our dampening at the D. Um, feedback is at the A, and we've got eighth note rhythm here on the left and got a, a delayed sixteenth note rhythm here on the right one eight and three sixteen um, let's see uh, we've got an EQ on here as well um, low shelf is down a little bit boost is in the middle frequencies at twelve o'clock uh, high shelf is pointed at the H so lower the low shelf a little bit and the high shelf boosted a little bit um, and you know, that should give you this sound right there. Um, it mixes all the way up. 
up and this is all the way up to uh, and I'll uh, obviously you know as always throw in the pattern here for you I would put in you know a MIDI file but that just makes it too easy for you guys to hit and run when, when it comes to stuff like this so I'm probably never ever going to release a MIDI file for anyone to just grab you know because I mean I do put time into this and you know and you guys need to learn anyway so uh, and I think all this is just an arpeggio um, and modified a little bit on the east the E I think that's E yeah. um, on the E scale there so uh, I'll go ahead and play through this and you guys you know copy down what you need to and um, yeah that's it mm -hmm. 